recording. Uh, this is our weekly Zoom call. I don't know why I feel like I have to say that every time, but I do. Um, tonight, we are talking about all things newsletter, and we are actually going to give you guys like uh, inside scoop from the Diamond and Above leadership training that Amber, Jacqueline, and I are in. And we are going to um, play this newsletter training that Amy did. But first, I will start with some recognition. Do, 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 do. I think this is the right one. I don't even see it. Do you guys see it? Yes, recognition. Okay. Okay, so in Success Club, we have Amber Bear at Success Club 22, we have Jacqueline Cook at Success Club 12, Josie Carter at Success Club 6, myself at Success Club 4, Kelsey at Success Club 4, Caitlin Success Club 2, Mary Success Club 2, Rachel Success Club 2, Abby Success Club 2, Michelle Success Club 2, Kayla Success Club 2, Wendy Success Club 2, Denise Success Club 2, Madison Success Club 2, Natasha Success Club 2, Devlin, Devin? Success Club 2 and Lola at Success Club 2. So shout out to everybody who has points on the board or is almost there and everybody in Success Club. It's Team Cut Month. Um, there are so many things going on this month. Everything like Bar Blend is still a really good deal and that's on sale till the end of the month. We have three promo codes that you got. If you're on a Team Cup team or if you're just a new coach, you get three promo codes. Um, and then for the cut, everybody who is on a team cup if you use those promo codes by friday you get three more promo codes so um just think about that and then right now when people purchase challenge packs or completion packs they also get a free 14 day uh box of shakeology pumpkin spice until they run out so that's a really cool incentive too and then for leadership and rank we have I'm going to share this every week and it'll be fun as people start rank advancing, but hopefully like you guys see it, I'm excited to look back like in a couple months or even at the end of the year and then compare that board to this one and think about like hopefully the diamond leaders that we see on here and star diamond leaders. Like that gets me really excited. Okay. So we have myself and Amber as star diamond coaches. We have Jacqueline as our Jack uh, Diamond Coach rocking it solo, but won't be for long, I'm sure. And then we have all these Emerald Coaches, Eden, Caitlin, Katie, myself, which is my second CBC, Wendy, Rachel, Mary, Shauna, Katie, um, Michelle, Jenna, Josie, Madison, Michelle, Amanda, Era, and Abby. So tons of emeralds. You guys could all be diamond, even if you are brand new um, and you're like, what does this mean? We are doing a emerald workshop um, at the end of the month with Set Your Soul on Fire. So um, it's definitely something you want to push for. You start earning rank advancement or blah, blah, blah. It's your first rank advancement when you go from coach to emerald and you start earning customer leads if you're hitting success club along with um, start building team cycle bonuses as well, which is long-term residual income. And that is very exciting. Okay. Am I forgetting any announcement or anything? I feel kind of brain dead today. I don't think so. Okay. So how long, I, is, how long is Amy's training? Do you remember? I think 40 minutes. Okay. I was just wondering if I should show just like an example of my Canva. Yeah, like, we can do that. Yeah, first. real quick. And yeah. then we can show actual newsletters. Um, so I, I do this periodically. We, we talked about streak. And so I'll do a mail merge where I'll, we'll create an email. It looks like it's just going to one person, but it's going to like 200 people. And I've done this as a way to kind of mimic a newsletter. The only thing is, you know, I'm emailing two to 500 people a day with when I do these. And sometimes you will get a reply that says, stop emailing me. <laughs> because if you do a newsletter, they can just opt out. Okay. They can just unsubscribe. But just know that the more people you talk to, it's normal. Someone's going to just be like, you know, remove me. And it, you're like, geez, you know, in your head, but you don't say anything. You just remove them. Uh, don't reply. Just telling you, don't do that. I've done that. It's not good. Don't do it. Um, so let me do a screen share. Where is it? My desktop. 
I'm like bad at this all the time. Can you guys see my crazy desktop? Okay. Um, so I found one, this was titled Summer Bodies Are Made When? Um, and this was from a year ago. So February 9th, 2019, I had just had Violet two weeks before. So it's like, it has the text. And this is when we were promoting Transform 20 because Transform 20 had just come out in January. Um, and so this literally could be something you do right now because it's February. You can talk about summer bodies because it's true. Like everything that we're doing right now to work on ourselves is a reflection of like what our, you know, or what we're going to look like this summer. And so you could do something like this, but just don't talk about Transform 20. You could talk about bar blend because it's on sale. Um, so I just talk about how summer bodies are made in the winter. Um, I had just had Violet. So I was like, I'm still recovering from having my baby two weeks ago. So I sent like, a, I did this picture on Canva and it was just like an old, you know, picture, obviously not <laughs> current at the time, not even current now. Um, and then I did like a picture of me and Violet. So and then this is something at the bottom that I have created with that. You can click on it and it has like, and this is like my signature. So you can go into your email and change your signature. And these are little links that I created. I don't even remember how I did it. I watched a YouTube video um, and they're just there all the time now. And that's that what that's about. So, and then I made, you can change when you're creating an email in Gmail you insert the photo, you don't attach it, you insert it. So I could literally have put it at the second paragraph, I could put it at the beginning, like you can put it wherever you want. We do a picture as an attachment, it's just gonna be at the bottom and people might not see it. So I like to actually insert it somewhere and then I will mess with the font sometimes, which you can just do while you're writing the email. So that's just like a way, stop the share. Um, so I've, I do that every couple of months and I'll mass send that out to all of my prospects. Like I have my step one prospects. This is all through streaks. So my step one prospects, step two, step three are people that have received a link but haven't ordered. So um, periodically I will just send an email like that to up to 500 people. And um, yeah, and sometimes somebody will reply. Like that one in particular I found is she just signed up as a coach. She's not on here today, but I've been emailing her for over a year. And so she, I think, had just replied to another email, like one of those older emails and was like, okay, I'm ready. So um, it's just, you know, the consistency I think is important. Not everyone's going to read it and be like, oh, that's me right now, but they could, it could be them later. So I just wanted to share that because I've talked about it before. It's super easy, but we will go into Amy's training, actually showing you guys how to use MailChimp. Okay. Um, and I saw Madison's question about how often we do newsletters. My goal is to get back to every other week or one a week and just do it really simply. I'm at like every other month right now, completely honest. And then I used to be good and I used to be like every week and it just fell off. So that is one of my goals this year is to be in people's inboxes more. And I think about it as like, it's not annoying. It's another form of a follow-up and also it's adding value and reminding people of what you offer. Yeah, I want to do one, like I, I've, um, I've, I've tried to do one a month that hasn't happened. So my goal is to do one a week. And um, I mean, Amy will show you guys, but like, I think it's good to have updates, like add recipes, you know, like make it creative. So people hopefully want it, you want them to want to get it and not just feel like, hi, it's me again, order, you know, like you want it to feel like they want to open your email. And I know I belong, I follow some bloggers and people that send emails and it's all, they're sending them like every couple of days and they always have like catchy titles, which is something I'm trying to work on. Cause I don't want it to just be like, get fit with me, like boring. Like people aren't going to open that. They're like, we know, we know we can get fit with you. Like I want it to be something that people want to open. So that's my goal. Okay. Let's see. I'm hoping this audio will work. So you guys will have to let me know. Um, wait, that didn't work. I don't even see the right page now. Hold on. Ugh, this is so frustrating. Um, sorry, guys. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. You guys see it? Okay. Um, I had calls for five hours today, back to back since two. So um, getting to it when I can. Hold on, I'm trying to make it. And I'm sure you guys will get to it when you can. <laughs> so today I wanted you to just take you here. through the flow from beginning to end of creating a mailer or a newsletter, whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said in the um, 
in the mastermind last night and in my video. Highly recommend subscribing to newsletters from people that run the gamut. Not like, don't subscribe to Beach Body Coach newsletters. They're all the same. Um, subscribe to other people who are more creative in different industries because you'll get different ideas. And there's no one or right, like one way to do things. There's not like a right or wrong way to do things. And this newsletter is going to be pretty basic um, because my goal is to get better with my newsletters. Um, so I'm also telling myself that, <laughs> that I need to subscribe to more people um, and create more value through my newsletters. But this is a newsletter that I've been sending out so that it has, so it covers a bunch of different things. And so you can follow along with me in this tutorial style. And I will say that everything I've learned how to do with design, editing, anything that has to do with stuff on computers, what I usually do is I find a tutorial and I put it up on the right-hand side of my computer. And then I put up what I need to do on the left-hand side. And I watch a little bit, I pause it, I do the task. I watch a little bit, I pause it, I do the task. I really feel like um, learning things as we go and doing a step-by-step -step with it is so much better than watching an entire tutorial and then going and trying to do it all yourself. That's not how you do it. In art school, that's how I always did it. It's how I've taught myself everything. And um, that's how I recommend doing this. So first, before I go into mine, I want to show you also some examples of coaches from my team, some leaders from my teams. My team, the teams within my team, I want to show you um, all these different great examples. <clears throat> because my dog is so needy all the time. I wanted to show you some really pretty examples and some just different examples um, because I think just seeing the way one person does it's not very helpful. Um, so let's see what we got going on here. All right, I'll share my screen. Loki, go lay down. I'm always yelling at something in my house. Sort of furry creature. Okay, so this is um, one of uh, my coach's emails about Bar Blend. Um, I believe it's Meredith's. Yeah, I think it's Meredith's because that's Meredith right there. Um, so Meredith is a five-time elite coach, six-figure earner, multiple six-figure earner, I think. And so hers is just all about Bar Blend. So this is a, a basic launch email, just introducing Bar Blend and ask people to join her. She also has her fall recipe ebook that she created. It's not even like, you know, it's just very basic. Um, <clears throat> it's just text over pictures. And so she has access to the free workout. And then she put a couple of other things She's doing a reboot cleanse. You can get your kit here. Um, and then here is about to be mindset. Um, don't miss out on the lowest challenge pack enrollment prices. Challenge packs linked to order. And then it has a little bit about her on the bottom. So this is Meredith's mailer, and this is about our blend. And then here is another one about our blend with her transformation and then a little bit about her free course learn about starting a wellness business <laughs> and she took a shout out that I did and put it on hers for one of our teammates that went diamond which is very smart love that um this is Courtney Burton's how was the first day of your 2020 yep I ate pizza <laughs> Courtney's great at this um so she wrote like something very just like like she's talking and I'm totally cool with it and it didn't ruin my entire year. Um, so here she goes about sharing um, Barbara differently. She explains it and then starts posting transformations plus recipes or a recipe, two recipes. I'm actually going to steal some of these recipes from mine today. <laughs> um, 
And then here's a different one, just really short and sweet. It's like a Christmas one. One pan sheet. It's just a simple little newsletter that just says, hey, here's a free gift, happy holidays. And it's a little pan sheet dinner guide, one pan dinner guide. Like how cool is that? From um, one of my full-time coaches, Kate. Like how creative and smart is that, right? Just like a little like, thank you, here's a gift. And then this is when she quit her job and went full time and she put out an ad for um, influencers and said, join the sneak peek here. And just a direct link to her group, which I always do as well. Um, so I think those are some great examples. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So I am in my MailChimp. Let me take a, oh, no more water. Eating my beach bar. <laughs> All right. So go to create, go to email, campaign name. I'm just going to name it 212. Weekly newsletter. Begin. Sorry, I have to keep my mouth open. I can't breathe through my nose right now. <laughs> so, who are you sending this campaign, campaign to? Add recipients. I'm putting my healthy recipes, positive and more. All subscribers in the audience. I'm not putting personalized to the two field because I'm going to take the time to put everybody's first name. That would basically give it more of a personalized approach with my coach prospect audience, the new one I'm creating. Make sure that myself and my assistant are putting everybody's first name so that. I can do the personalized two field. Okay. It says, what's this? I don't even need to explain it to you. <laughs> Save. Um, make sure it's going back to the right email address. They always put an old email address of mine, so I always have to change this. Amy Silverman. Save. Subject line. Gotta come up. Um, Subject line really matters. Um, free box of pumpkin spice psychology. I want to put that so salesy. Um, let's put. Anyone else like free shit? <laughs> Way better. And I'm gonna put a little emoji if somebody reads in their hand. Me. See the difference between those two subject lines? Like free pumpkin spice psychology box or anyone else like free shit? That's branding right there. That's branding. Save. All right, now we're gonna design the email. Okay, so I really like this layout the tell a story layout because it gives me like three different boxes here and like a main one. So I don't have a logo. So I'm going to delete that and share your story. So I need to decide what I want my main story to be about. So I want my main story to be about my mindful eating group. Um, so let me see if I have a photo. I'm pretty sure I made one. And again, I'm taking you guys through this with me. So it's going to take a little bit longer, but you can do it with me because it's taking me longer. So this is like, I'm just showing you exactly what I do. No fluff. No fluff. Where is it? My desktop? No. I'm just going to put this as a filler for now. So I decide what I want to put there. <clears throat> All right. Share your story. Fine. So this is what I want to move away from is like 
making it like talking at people and just sharing. So um, instead of doing a share your story, I'm going to do like what Courtney did. Actually, I am trying to figure out what I want to put there. <laughs> so I put, I don't know about you, but I need to change. So this is what I did, and this is how I'm going to pay it forward to you because it worked. Plus, there's free shit involved. And everyone loves free shit. Save and close. Main story. Now I'm writing my copy. So write your copy. Um, I'm just sharing, just like I would write a post on social media. I'm not writing um, like a salesy, like join my next board group yet. First, this part, first part is I wanna write my story. I wanna write a story, I wanna write something that connects them to me. And then down here, I'm gonna share about the next group, free pumpkin spice, and a transformation. Maybe even add another part for a recipe. Okay, so let's write our copy. <laughs> Sorry, a weird noise coming out of my mouth. <laughs>
I had never explained nausea. 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 What's one word that you can never spell? Na. N-A-U-S-E-A. Just eludes me. N-A-U-S-E-A. <laughs> All right, um, still writing my copy. Hopefully you're still writing yours. And you know what? Writing is so easy to me because I just share my story. I just write out what happened. And a lot of times um, people get writer's block or don't know what to write because they're trying to think about what to write in order to either please somebody else or to sell something or to, and you know, all you have to focus on is sharing your story. That's what people relate to. So, um, hold on, my husband's texting me, I'll keep writing. All right. Put a little divider here. Um, and like, what's cool about Mailchimp? It's so easy because you just take what you want to do, and like, you start off with like your template, and then you can just pull and drag and it's so easy to duplicate things too so I'm gonna put two dividers there just to create a space and I'm gonna do a box test text no I don't want the box text and I'm gonna do regular text uh,
<sighs> Everyone wants to know what's for dinner. Zucchini noodles with meat sauce. Sure. <laughs> meat sauce and zucchini noodles sounds good. To be mindset, what's up? All right. Um, All right, so then I put, threw up my story, and then I said, I'm actually gonna remove one of those. And then I wrote, then I woke the fuck up. I decided that I, I'm gonna remove fuck, just because it's not necessary. It's just like in the work when Amwala awkwardly curses, and I'm like, you don't really need to do all that. <laughs> I don't like to be that person either. So then I woke the fuck up and decided. I'll say it out in my head. Then I woke up and decided. Then I woke the up. Make sure you proofread like three times. Then I woke up and decided I'd be miserable. I decided to commit to math. I'm pregnant. This person was on all the mindset work I've gotten me so far in life. I started. Blah, 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 blah. All right. So read more. You can put a hyperlink. But I'm just going to put reply back to this email to join my 21 day mindset and in full nutrition and mindset course. That's 2.24. I'm going to change the color of this thing because it's freaking ugly. That's way better. A little darker. A little blue in there. I don't want it rounded. Square. And yeah. I'm going to put the text a little bit bigger. Not 24, maybe 20. How about update? Yeah. I'll be taking everyone through our mindful nutrition program to be mindset. Starting everyone, starting you on our blend for daily I am affirmation cards as well as going in a free mindset course how be creating myself from over 10 years of experience <clears throat> and results yeah alcoholic to seven figure entrepreneur waitress what <laughs> um gotta hype yourself up guys Okay, style, I need more space in here. Yeah. Um, three. Um, five. Yeah. I like that text. I feel like it needs like a red border. So people see it. All 
right. Okay. You guys think I should keep this picture? I think it actually goes with this. Okay. So now I add in the free shit. All right. Pumpkin. Pumpkin Psychology. Let's find a pretty picture. Okay, beach bodies pictures. I like this one because it's bright. All right, I'm gonna grab it over here. How much is it? Seventy five dollars. Seventy five dollars. Fifty nine dollars on eBay. <laughs> Eighty five dollars. Sixty five dollars. Somebody's pricing it up and trying to sell it. Whatever. I don't even know. I'm gonna put the price. Um. I'm gonna change this heading to something else. Every path with your with any challenge path purchase in February, you will also get a free box. A pumpkin spice technology while wow. wow, supplies last. Hurry before they sell out. So I'm gonna bold underline that one. I'm weird about the spacing here. And then I'm going to put success story. So I already have one picked out. This is one of my coach's success stories from our blend. Halfway. So halfway into our blend. Okay. Um, All right, so then at the bottom, um, another call to action. Mm 
Um, so I'm gonna put that red. So I put Mara's testimony. I just change it because in her group she posted her two week photos, which were crazy too. But these were her 30 day photos. So this happened 30 days, minute, 30 minute low impact and jumping only. It's going to wait to work out five days a week. That means I work out for five hours. He's, um, and then I'm going to put, and my back has not hurt at all, which is crazy because I'm always hurting. Pretty cool, huh? Now I'm going to take these. And Courtney, the wink. Three recipes. So small, so I'm going to delete this. I'm just going to put two and close. I'm going to put an image here and then put that. Two and close, put a little text right here. So I like to give away like something free, you know? So, save and close. So, I like to do then is go to preview and test and enter preview mode and, and look at it this way. Um, so, it's kind of like on a mobile phone. It's going to be so much better on a mobile phone because then it gets in, it's in order. Everything's bigger. But a lot of my people open on desktop too, believe it or not. So, whoops, preview and test. I don't know about you, but I need to change. This is what I did, and this time I'm going to pay it forward to you because it worked. Plus, there's free shit involved. Everyone loves free shit. My dog died. I got pregnant. The new year didn't happen. I just wanted to share the reality of life. And I read it out loud because I hear typos and gram grammatical errors better that way. Especially as a mom. The reality of life, especially as a mom. I was so blessed to get pregnant after trying for a few months in November. We found out when we were on a birthday trip for Kevin in that same week. And we also got a call from the vet that my box had nine years collapsed. We cut the trip short. Got on the next flight home and did little. And little did we know. It. Oh, I can't do that. Let me know. I think that's right. And little do we know. We'd only have two weeks with him. He didn't even make it to Christmas. I already had all my goals, dreams, and plans written down for 2020 by then. And then all of a sudden, I just didn't care anymore. Then the first trimester, nausea and exhaustion hit. Oh, I wanted to add in. And the first time I measured nausea and exhaustion on top of caring for my toddler, making sure I was getting in my workouts and taking care of my business. New Year's happened. Instead of working on my health and fitness goals, I was laying in bed, eating saltines, and sleeping all day. As you can imagine, especially someone as driven as me, it affects my mental health a bit. I even traveled to see friends to celebrate our team getting top 10 again for the eighth year. that sentence because I was still exercising I was doing the fucking work in my first trimester so I'm not going to put that because that's bullshit <clears throat> and I want the top 10 for the seventh year I'm elite for the eighth year okay um 
on top of caring for my toddler, making sure I was getting in my workouts and taking care of my business. I was laying in bed eating salty and sleeping all day. As you can imagine, especially someone as shaken as me, it affected my mental health a bit. I even traveled to see friends, celebrate our team, getting top 10 again for the seventh year in a row, and didn't even care. This was not like me, and I was starting to think that 2020 was already a bust. I should just put my feet up and give up on all my goals. Then I woke up and decided that I'd be miserable. I decided to recommit back to my spiritual practices, personal development, all the mindset work that had gotten me so far in life. And I started to feel better overnight. I also started our new bar blend program, and as soon as I could stomach it, I started cleaning out my nutrition. Over the course of just a few days, God, huh? Over the course, just a few days, I felt like a brand new person and within weeks. I felt like a brand new person, period. Within weeks, a fire had been relit. So, of course, I wanted to create a sport to anyone who had a rough or maybe okay start to the year and needs something a little extra. I'll be taking everyone through our mindful nutrition program, Jimmy Mindset, and starting you. And starting the work on Every single program impact is on sale, plus there is a freebie where it is no better month to join than this one. All right. Any challenge prep purchase in February, you also get a free box from the Spanish Technology. We also have last for the first allow. Testimony. All right. Done. Whoops, I always do a test email. Hold on. Edit design, preview and test, and test email. So that will go to my email. See what it looks like. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't like the pumpkin spice picture. It's like too bright for my aesthetic. Excuse me. Oh, this one's way better. There we go. I don't like this red line here. Let's see. It looks just as good. Um, On here. Is there? I want the picture. Do I have an image yet? A really old one. Let me see some. Um, is it do you like that? Let me see. <laughs> no. <gasps> I don't like that. I don't know how to get off now. 
clear. There we go. Uh, what other can you see the image? There we go. There we go. I actually feel like this picture is going to look the best. I actually took this picture. It was the first year I went top 10. I did a retreat in Belize. My dog is like heavy breathing in the background. I'm really sorry. Loki. And crop it. Loki. I'm going to make it smaller. Whoops. <laughs> How do I delete it? Reset. Reset. Okay, so Shit. delete. Start over. Image. Right there. <laughs> All right, try that again. Oh, fuck, so I have to re-upload it. I'm just going to try and stop the share because there was two minutes left, and I just figured that's, like, the end of it anyways. Um, but, so, I also figured, I would say, MailChimp is free until you hit, like, a certain amount of um, people on your list, but I think it's, like, 1,200. 2000 I could be wrong. I can't remember exactly when you start paying. I think I pay $20 a month for, because I have, okay, 2000 So yeah, um, it's free up until that point. So especially for people who are just getting started, it's great. Again, it's super easy. That was like a walkthrough. I'm sorry. I realized it was blurry like halfway through. Um, but I actually just got that newsletter from Amy, so I can post that in the team pages so you can see that as well, like the actual thing, the non blurry version, but it just shows you like how to do that super easily. And, um, it's just really easy to do really duplicatable. You don't have to spend too much time on it. Um, I know when I've done them in the past, I try to be perfect, but that's just like not my reality <laughs> with Rowan. Um, so I just think it's like easy to plug and play success stories. Like you can share success stories from the team. Um, this week, actually, I was thinking about it. Jacqueline, can I share your success story on my newsletter? <sighs> so, thanks. Um, I mean, we have so many we can like rotate through, but um, yeah. So does anybody have any questions before we hop off? Or anything they want to add about newsletters or anything? Was this good? I mean, we were, we were trying to throw something together on the fly for you guys. So hopefully this was helpful or and easy to understand and everything, minus it being blurry. I was texting Amber. I was like, I realized it's blurry. Do you think that's okay? <laughs> yeah, I figured people could get the gist because you won't really, oh my gosh. Um, you won't really be able to, it's one of those things, once you get in there, you'll be able to see things more clearly. I have a question. Yeah. I am making a newsletter and I don't know what kind of like pictures to put in there. So I'm like searching Google for like free pics. Do you think that's like super lame? No, okay. I mean, just do like, you do what you gotta do. I don't think it's lame and I think you'll make it look good and it like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but like a lot of detail into hers. I never like go that into detail. Now I feel like I want to though after watching her do that. Um, but like the picture on the bottom, like I normally don't go that into it, but I mean, I think you can still make a good one and make it look cute without going that detailed. I'm making one right now for like talking about when summer's coming and whatever. And I'm like, 
I don't have any pictures of myself that I would want that look like even somewhat professional in like a bathing suit or anything like that. So I'm like Googling like bikini pics wallpaper and I found like a really cute one, but I'm like, do I put this in there? I mean, I've done that before. I, I mean, literally some of my old posts, I was actually reminded of this Facebook on this day. I posted a picture of Amy's butt. <laughs> Actually, like a lot of coaches did when we were advertising for 21 Day Fix Extreme. And yeah, there's like everybody was posting Amy's butt. And I was like, that's funny that I did that. But I mean, you do what you do and you can be like, this is goals or this is my goal this year. Like, I don't think that's anything wrong with that. All right. Well, maybe I'll post Amy's butt. Michelle, couldn't you create something similar to email to lead so they know yeah. to know you? Oh, totally. Totally. You can totally make that to send out to people. Um, and then the cool thing is you can just keep that as a campaign and then send it out and like update that list. Um, and then do it that way. Um, but the cool, you can even like make them in advanced and then save them and have them, which I think is what I'm going to do when I start having more time. Because a lot of the times once a week I'll get help from like, um, Rowan's other grandparents and they'll like watch him for a couple hours while I'm there, obviously <laughs> he's losing it too here. Um, and during that time, like I might bust out a couple newsletters just to have, and then be able to, so I can send them out once a week. Um, but yeah, you can totally do that for challenges. I've also done newsletters for new challengers or that's what I meant to say for leads, but I've done them for new challengers too, for like prep week. I used to do that. Um, so there are so many different ways you can do it. But anyways, I'm gonna end this call because, um, Rowan is listening to it too. But yeah, Michelle, I think you can do that um, to save time. And I think that's a great way to do it. I think it's all, this business is all about finding what works for you with the time that you have. Like you don't have to overcomplicate it. And this is just a great way to like add value. And you could even create like a little video talking about your story and the programs and like what you do to plug that in there too. Like you can get creative with it and do a bunch of different stuff. But yeah. Thank you guys for hopping on. I'll post the recording and then I'll also post the link to, um, Amy's newsletter that she sent out. So you guys can see it first, the blurry version that was on here. Thank you guys.